wise decision moving it from July to November, I think. Yeah, the heat will just be brutal, especially mm -hmm. if we see another summer like this one, where it's our 66th day of 100 degree temperatures. Getting near the record. Very close. Yeah. We're actually counting down to that record in just a bit, but right now we are still talking about very warm conditions this evening. A live look from our 360 tower camera. There's the Capitol there in the middle of your screen. Right now, still at 90 degrees. Early tomorrow morning, we'll see a few clouds and temperatures will be in the upper 70s, but those clouds clear out and by noon, we are already back into the mid 90s. Right now, it is 91 in Lando and in Georgetown, 90 in Bastrop. Coolest spot on the map, as it always is, Fredericksburg, 84 degrees there, 86 in LaGrange this evening. Clear skies and 90 at Camp Mabry, a few clouds at, at, at the airport, 89 degrees there, and our winds, well, a bit of a breeze out at the airport, but here in town, it's relatively light, around five miles an hour. Southerly flow continues, and it's only helping our very hot temperatures we are still in the 90s from Dallas down to San Antonio to Laredo, 80s along the coast, mid 80s there, and upper 80s out near Midland and Abilene, 87 degrees at this hour. Satellite radar shows that we have mostly clear skies across the entire state. We started to see a few showers pop up along the coast briefly this afternoon, but they didn't last long. That high pressure, that sinking air in place, just not allowing any sort of real wet weather to develop across the state. And unfortunately, this is the pattern we're going to see for the rest of your weekend and even into next week, especially when the kids start school on Monday. So let's go hour by hour through your forecast. Tonight, mostly clear skies, a few patchy clouds early tomorrow morning, but plenty of sunshine through the afternoon. So you can expect those triple digit temperatures to continue and heat index values are, could go up to 107 degrees. There's just enough moisture, a tiny bit of moisture to work with to bump up those heat indices. Well, we are tracking some changes though in the Caribbean this evening. Right now we have hurricane, or not sorry, Tropical Storm Harvey, not a hurricane, it's already made landfall, so it's actually going to decrease in strength now as it goes for the next couple of days. 45 mile an hour winds moving to the west northwest about 13 miles an hour made landfall, landfall over Belize earlier today. A little bit further to the east, this is our next tropical storm. Tropical Storm Irene actually expected to work its way into the Gulf by late next week. That's what the models are hinting at. We're going to be following this one very closely. Unfortunately for us, it doesn't look like a great rainmaker right now. It looks like the path will take it closer to Florida, a little bit farther away from Texas. But Tropical Storm Irene has 15 mile an hour winds it's moving west at about 22 miles an hour. So places like the Dominican Republic already have tropical storm watches and warnings in effect. Further to the east of that, we have yet another area of interest out there in the Atlantic. This is just an area of some scattered showers, thunderstorms, not greatly organized right now, but it has a 20% chance of developing into something greater within the next two days. So this is yet another system that we're going to be watching very closely as we head through the rest of your weekend and into early next week. All right, let's go closer to home. Tonight, temperatures will only drop into the upper 70s. Again, another very warm overnight for tomorrow. Hot through the afternoon, 100 or above for most of us here, at least by a couple degrees. Tonight in Austin, 78 degrees with just a few clouds. Tomorrow, 105, your afternoon high. Very similar to the temperatures we saw today. And here's that seven day forecast. 104 on your Monday, 103 on Tuesday. And we are counting down to that record of 69 100 degree days in one summer that we could hit it on Tuesday and break it by Wednesday.